Heather, thank you for that. And boy, I love some cookies. That is my weakness, cookies and cake. So this is a perfect segment for me. Yeah, good morning to you. Fans of Aztecs football can get a taste of these sweet treats at Snapdragon Stadium. Pretty exciting. Here now is Megan Smith, one of the co-founders of Batch and Box Cookies. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of cookies this morning. There's a lot of All cookies right. today. Yeah. What are we doing? What do we, what do we have here? Well, we are going to be making the um, Coco Dragon. The Aztec Stadium asked us to make a locally inspired Cookie okay. with local, like in inspired flavors and cultures. And that's so, what you came up with. yeah, we okay. came up with a cookie called the Cocoa Dragon. It's exclusively going to be sold at Snapdragon Stadium. And I think that's what's so special, too, is that yeah. this sweet treat is is exclusive to this stadium. Yeah, absolutely. That we, we haven't even seen yet. Yes. Right. Yeah, this is a All big right. reveal. Well, so. put me to work. What are we doing? Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to share some tips today. Okay. Um, we are going, I'm, I want everyone to know I'm a self-taught baker. I have not gone to culinary school, and I think most of us are self-taught bakers. Absolutely. So I'm going to share some tips on how we make them extraordinary. Okay. Um, so my first tip is, Always weigh your ingredients. Most recipes come with measurements that you should measure with a measuring cup, and that's why a lot of times cookies come out different every time because you're not weighing them. So I encourage you to get like a weight skill. I think that would be easy for me because I weigh all my food. Oh, well then every you're right on track. Every single thing I weigh. Good. <laughs> well, that's you should weigh all your baking yes. ingredients. So Perfect. We're going to. Um, so all this, all these goodies are weighed out already. So I want you to go ahead and you're wearing a batch and box apron. Uh, and you thank are now, you for that. Thank you. Yeah, you're officially a batch and box awesome. baker. So ambassador. we're putting you to work. Go ahead and throw your butter in. All right, put in the butter right here. Uh huh. Okay. We'll do butter. Let's do it. And then okay. um, we're going to do our sugar. So go ahead Let's and grab sugar. the white sugar and brown sugar. Awesome. Let's do this. Um, and so my second tip is use premium ingredients. Okay. I think a lot of times people think they can skimp and not use butter. They go to margarine or they right. use imitation vanilla. We need the actual butter. You need real butter. Perfect. You need quality vanilla. Know. You need really good chocolate. Because it will come out in the taste. Yes. Okay. And it's all about get, the after product. You yes. Know? And do the little thing, the little extra things. If you're using nuts, toast them. Yeah. Like do the little extra things that will make bring out more flavor, Absolutely. more texture. Okay. So, so that's in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to blend all this up. Yep. So we're going to blend this up and then why don't you get some eggs ready. Okay. We'll go ahead and Let's do it. Get the eggs in there, and um, well, look at that, no shells. Big. All right, perfect. I haven't made eggs in a while, so you know. Okay, and for the interest I'm of a, time, I assume I'm stirring this. You know what? We actually don't. We do them. not. No, but oh. that's okay. That's okay. okay. Go well, ahead and throw I them in. Ahead. <laughs> I like it. I got it. Throw them. Go ahead and throw those okay. in. Okay. And then we're going there to. We go. All right. Good, great. Okay. Then while I mix this, I want you to start. Now again, these are all measured ingredients. Precisely. Yes, okay. precisely. So go ahead and throw. These are all your dry ingredients. Throw them all together. So we have um, two Is different. Flour? Yeah. We okay. have two different types of flour. That's cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and the cocoa. And yes, and then so what brings the subtle like subtle heat is um, ancho chili pepper. Nice. And then also a little bit of cayenne and some cinnamon. Ooh, so it's so gonna go get a little and, punch. Yes, it does have a little. All right, so just toss heat. all these in there. Yep. Okay. And I'm gonna sift them together while you're throwing right, them in. Sounds good. Ooh, I can smell Great. That. I can smell that cocoa. Yes. Okay, packing the punch it. right here. Yep. Here we go. Good. So we're gonna sift that together really good, and then go ahead and. We'll, Ooh, it looks we'll good go ahead and, um, and then we just kind of going. put all this together, yeah, right? Yeah, you're putting these in. All yep, right. we got our eggs, we got our butter, and let's put. Go ahead and put your I powder. Wish you guys could smell this too. Yeah, yeah it smells well, so you just good. wait till you have the finished product. All right, I'm excited to see that. Yeah, just dumping all this in here. Yes. So, all right. Weigh your ingredients. Use really quality ingredients. Okay. And then don't cheap on the ingredients. I'm don't told. go cheap on the ingredients. Um, and we got one minute, so we have to make some cookie magic. Oh, okay. We'll wrap it. <laughs> there up. We'll we wrap go. this up. Okay. So cookie magic happens. Okay. This is my third tip. Okay. We're gonna take voila cookie oh, TV magic. So that's what it looks like after. Yes. That's the actual that's, dough. That's okay. the actual dough. Okay. So for TV magic, we're just gonna do this really quick. And this is my third tip is. I don't use, um, I, I have about four ounces, okay. and I don't use any um, like cookie scoops or I don't roll them into dough balls. I keep my air nice, the, the dough nice and fluffy. All right. We're going to roll it, just lightly hand rolled. Every cookie at Badge and Box is hand rolled. We're going to roll it in some sugar, an oh, ancho nice. chili pepper, and then voila, we're ready to put it in the oven.
Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, here yep. they are. So look at this. Cookie go magic. ahead. You can throw those in the oven. All right. Perfect. Okay. And guess so while what? these are baking. Yes. Here you go. Voila. All right, those are in. Yes. Okay, this is the big reveal. Woo! This is just. This is what I've been waiting for. Yes. All the cooking and. See, I just unwrap stuff, throw it in the oven, it's done. <laughs> well, you're not a real cookie maker. No, I'm a, yeah. Okay, so this is just real decoration. It is a real chili for those that really want some heat. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna not eat that. I want to talk after this. Okay. So and sure it's really down. really ooey and gooey. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah. Do you mind if I grab it's one? Actually, yes, please All right, do. Let's do it. This one's extra extra warm. All right. Oh nice. You gotta be honest, right, Eric. Okay. It is very soft, and I love the texture. Good. And I'm a cookie person. Yeah, kind of crusty on the outside. I'm actually eating a cookie on air. I haven't done this before. Good. That's so good. Good. Thank you, Megan, so much. Uh, anything else you would like to add before I let you go? Um, I would Besides just love... unveiling your product yes. at Snapdragon Stadium Yes, soon. we're excited. Our purpose in the community is to really help make an extraordinary cookie experience that helps create memories and Absolutely. helps create moments for family and friends. You know when you eat food and it's so good that you have this like moment that you'll never forget? We want to create cookies that do that and that also create memories that you want to have for a lifetime. Perfectly said. On that yeah. note, we thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm so excited to try this. I made these cookies. Folks, you're watching the Fox 5 Morning News. Thank you again. We'll be right back. Thank you.